Today on Cave View, our coverage is focusing on issues around homelessness as part of our year long project, Our Homeless struggle on the streets. You know, Austin Mayor Steve Adler has visited Seattle to see how leaders there are combating homelessness. So our Molly Oak talked with Jake Wittenberg from our sister station in Seattle to see what they're doing to combat homelessness. A lot of homeless talk here in Austin. Of course, we know some other cities are dealing with the homeless population as well. So we brought in Jake Wittenberg. He's with our sister station in Seattle. Jake, thanks for chatting with us today. Uh, I know of you course. guys have covered homelessness very extensively in Seattle. First, just tell us what you've been working on there. You know, Seattle has been an interesting test case for the homeless issue because it really is kind of a crossroads between the grand debate, which is everyone living on the streets of Seattle is a drug addict that needs to go, compared with the group that thinks these folks deserve compassion and people uh, need to be approaching this situation in a much more humane way. And so we've seen a lot of solutions and attempts to clean the streets in various different ways over the years. And we're really seeing the issue evolve here, uh, seeing more of the private sector step up to try to get more shelters for these folks because at the moment they're jam-packed in Seattle. And we have a big vote coming up on Thursday about the ordinances here in Austin. We've seen that same divisiveness that you were talking about. Do you all have ordinances in place in Seattle? You know, aside from some no trespassing laws here and there, there's actually the opposite effect happening here in Seattle. Voters rejected a tax to fund millions and millions of more dollars to the issue. But at the same time, the city council, the mayor, the police chief have all kind of taken a hands off approach to the homeless issue as far as clearing the streets, working on other solutions in the background like additional shelters, uh, a navigation team, as they call it, to try to meet these homeless folks face to face on the streets to get them into treatment. And companies like Amazon and Microsoft and big, big companies in Seattle are stepping up, donating millions and millions of dollars to buy property and build more shelters. So so the ordinance route has not worked so much in this town. It's just too difficult to enforce. And we're seeing some people really pushing for that hands off approach here in Austin. When they did that, I know something that we noticed over the summer when those ordinances initially changed, where we saw a lot more homeless people come out onto the from the woods onto the streets, sidewalks, things like that. What's it look like in Seattle? You know, it is the common complaint uh, from people that enter the city of Seattle, people who live here, is that the streets are uh, a mess, uh, especially on some of the byways, the greenways. As you enter the city, there are tents everywhere. That has not changed. In fact, in a lot of ways, it's gotten a little bit worse with the fewer amount of sweeps that the city conducts to try to clear these spaces. Um, so when you talk about the, the crowded sidewalks and the tent and the camp, the camping, that all still remains. But one thing that is interesting we are seeing now that we've seen more money put into this issue, we've actually, for the first time since 2012, seen the number of homeless people on the streets decreasing. It's actually quite the phenomenon. This is the first year. We're down about 1,000 people on the streets this year. And that decrease in number, a lot of people are pointing to that public-private partnership. You know, that's part of it. I think one of the biggest, personally, if I could say, one of the biggest uh, contributions to the issue that I've seen has been this, these navigation centers and these, um, these places that the homeless can go to find the services they need. Because often what you find are these people on the streets that need the help. They just don't have someone to help get them into the treatment or get them into the temporary housing so they can get back on their feet. And it's giving them that opportunity that we're starting to see more and more of. And that has to be a attributed to the decrease because at the same time we're also seeing the number of sheltered people increase by about 600 people so a 900 person you know the number down on the homeless side up in the shelters uh, in shelters and those have to be encouraging numbers to see what is your advice to a city like Austin who's just starting to really dip our toes into this water of how do we help the homeless population yeah, you know, I would honestly say have the conversation because what we have seen in Seattle is uh, 
you know, at least city leaders attempting things. There are some that disagree that the city is not doing enough to combat the homeless problem, of course. But the more and more that this issue is out there and the more companies, local businesses express their frustration, uh, their concerns at public comment sessions at city council, the more that solutions seem to come to the table. We've seen things like tiny houses, tiny villages pop up here in Seattle. We've seen local companies sponsoring homeless shelters. And now, as I mentioned, big companies, Amazon, Microsoft, we're seeing the private sector for the first time put in millions and millions of dollars to try to solve the problem because they they are tackling it from a compassion standpoint, but also just logistically to help clean the streets. Awesome. Jake Wittenberg, thank you again so much for your time and your advice and all that insight you brought in from Seattle. We appreciate it. Sure. As we dive into our homeless struggle on the streets, we want to share with you messages from people experiencing homelessness.